taken three and a half years for this case to go to trial. And in closing arguments, the final thing was the presentation of body cam video from the responding officer. It's potentially damning and is definitely intense to watch. <laughs> The emotion of the family of Winston Ortiz, you can feel. His parents, his siblings, and his church family were all on hand for closing arguments in the trial of Adonis Betances. He's the 24-year-old accused of stabbing Ortiz four times in the stairwell of the boy's apartment building, then setting him on fire. Despite that, Ortiz named Betances to responding cops multiple times as he lay dying. It was recorded on the officer's body cam video, which was shown in court. That's what everybody responded to so emotionally. That's only by the grace of God that he was able to do anything like that. Ortiz's parents spoke outside of court after closing arguments where the suspect's lawyer argued that because Batances didn't torture Winston Ortiz, he should not get the maximum conviction of first degree murder if he's convicted. Someone stabbed and burned, you're gonna say that that person was not in pain. It was impossible for me to hear all the things that she has to say to the jury. Winston Ortiz had been friendly with a 14-year-old girl he'd met at church. His family says she stopped talking with him in the summer of 2020. Days later, the rising high school senior was fatally attacked. The person he identified as his attacker, Adonis Betances, is the older brother of the girl. The victim's family has called for justice. Even though we're not gonna get my son back in a way, but the, we don't want anyone to suffer the way we're suffering. The jury asked for a readback of testimony from Adonis Batances' girlfriend, where she talks about him confessing this killing to her. There's also a lot of surveillance video evidence in this case. The jury asked to review that video. They're expected to do so on Friday when the deliberations reconvene in the morning.